for being himself because poor man cannot come here. Right, it's okay, but we have a Wario here to represent. We got Violet, we got Wario, PS2, here we go. Yeah, and the good thing about these two players is that we know that they're pretty good. We know how talented they are with their respective characters. I mean, Justin Violet being able to make the PR after so many attempts, finally found that one character that just connected with him in the Violet and has been making a lot of strides, not only here in Tri-State, but as a now MDVA representative for going to school there, you know, has Absolutely. been making that character work as well. Coggles has been more on the quiet side. I believe he comes from, like, Central PA, if he goes to school there. But I know for sure he's, like, in the PA area. He comes by from time to time. He's been very close to taking games and sets off of one of Jersey's finest players. And seeing him here today, it's going to be a treat. It's going to be literally a battle of two players who have prominent futures. Absolutely, but we're already seeing that Kago, even though he may be a little bit underground, he is definitely racking all these percentages. That bite pressure on ledge is super good for uh, for uh, this ledge situation that he's going to start with that uh, Nair into dash attack. And now Justin Biley is struggling to get back into center stage where Biley makes his home, you know? After Biley loves to go with dash attack, go with uh, arrow pressure and things like that. Yeah, the thing about Violet is that we talk a lot about how e how good they are at shield breaking game. What about the drag down game? What about the nares? You Absolutely. know, getting getting drag downs with the up airs and just setting up for so many potential combo games and that down tilt, especially once you're at a, a high percent, just like we see about uh, Wario yep. right now, that could kill if you're not careful. If you're not careful, specifically speaking. Only if you have some. There's some nice players here, so they better be extra, extra mm -hmm. careful with the potential, the, the, the break potential of Violet. But racing, we are skirmishing for extra percentages. No one's really able to get some percentage going. Nice little bit of healing as well for, for uh, Coggles here. But what can we do with the bike? Oh, Justin that bike definitely knows better. Trying to get the Ooh. down here, but the Nair kind of stuffing it out. It's kind of unfortunate there for Coggles as he loses the first stock because he had the dare set up and it seemed like, you know, he could have just caught <laughs> With the church hands, first of all. <laughs> cut, cut him with the church hands, said, never mind. I don't go on to kill you from the bottom. I'll kill you from the top. Good stuff from Coggles right there. With also a fully charged waft in hand. We, I just, I wanted to bring up that um, the first yep. stocks from both these players happened after two minutes. Yeah, they are fighting it out. They, neither of them have, they both have really good survivability, as you can see, but Justin Violet, Taking the lead with a nice even 77%, but we might be seeing a little bit of up. Oh no! Falling out of the upper juggles that would have landed so beautifully into the waft, and now your own back is going against you, Coggles. What do we do? We're going to grab into double up air? No, no up yeah, air. you, you got to play it safe and you yep. can't overcommit right now. You saw the up smash attempt coming out from Justin. Yep. But great awareness right there from Coggles, who makes it back to stage safely and now puts Justin Violet in a bad deficit position. But <gasps> what? The interesting use of the WAP, I gotta say, it must have been a misinput because Justin Bond was nowhere near the area. Could have been uh, the, trying to use the side B, um, trying to turn around with the bike Could or something. Been, yeah. But yeah, it's unfortunate. You're gonna have to work with that for the next minute and a half at least if you're e even able to live for that much longer because Justin Byleth is now taking full advantage as you already at 104% on your final stock. Justin Violet absolutely making a name for herself with all these percentages, all these rapid jabs also on the platform, so you could even get out of the situation, try and get the Nair, but and was reading a roll-in, but instead Justin Violet's widely going in for the neutral get-up, and now we have an f to situation, ledge situation, bike up into the air, what can we do here, what can we do here? It's really hard to get through because, yeah, Oh my god. Yeah. As, as Wario, you don't have any tools to really just like help you get in on a character like Violet, and if the Violet spacing is on point, just like you see right there, you know, Justin Violet is gonna run away with it. It really, I really do feel like, you know, once the WAF wasn't a factor anymore, Justin was allowed to play his game at his pace, you know, without having to be like, okay, I gotta worry about this WAF setup. I gotta worry about nares and up tilts and up airs. No, once the WAF was gone, it was like, all right, now it's time to execute. Yep, you're absolutely right. And then hopefully we can see some execution on a very, very good Wario stage. That being Town and City TNC, a rotating platform stage that has three platforms, two platforms, and then no platform sometimes. A little bit of a gamble. I love it. I love the the the, uh, the joy of it all. But already, you're seeing Justin Violet already get 78%, almost 90% 
on oh. the jab log, but I think just go for a jab one two and continue that. Definitely pulled the trigger a bit too early, unfortunately. But um, you know, Justin Bylis, despite everything, one thirteen without taking any damage up until this very point, gonna yep. get hit with a quick twenty six, but. Um, Coggles has been struggling to get in on by, on uh, Justin. Yeah, the scoop of that uh, smash is so, or the up is so, so good. It's so difficult to avoid as well as a multi-hit is scoop super next to them. And then you have wrapped up on ledge, so you're stuck in that forever. <laughs> and going in back. All right. <laughs> yeah, I, I see it. Man was reading, up, reading the future for there for a second. Yeah, just saying, like, if you go this way, you know what's going to happen. <laughs> it, it was a warning. It was like, more like yeah, yeah, just, just stay with... Stay at the platform or this is going to happen. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, despite everything, uh, by, uh, Justin's doing a really good job so far. The spacing, like, I, I'm going to keep talking about the spacing that uh, Byleth as a character has. Definitely a space demon right here for sure with what we're seeing. Ooh. But great awareness from Coggles to be able to take that stock with the back air. At least even things back out at two stocks apiece. Absolutely. And I'm, of course, as we're speaking, Waff is always going to be charging up slowly but surely. I believe even half of his online right now, so that's a big potentiality for a really quick uh, second stock from Justin Byleth if the opportunity calls for his situation. We have Nair mm. into the E, into the throwing him right out into the air. We're trying to get Nair once more on ledge to get that neutral recovery, but Justin kind of able to skedaddle from that situation by the skin of his teeth. All right, but despite the deficit that is being faced on Coggle's end, you have to realize that when you're playing against Wario, you practically only have two stocks if you're not careful. So with a fully charged Waff and a Wario that is glowing like crazy, you have to be very careful with how you decide to approach because this could be the stock, but no one did not pull the trigger yet. And it didn't pull the trigger, Ouch. and guess what happens? That causes in a missed tech into a dash attack. And now, now we're gonna be really scared here. We have Waff still on deck as always. Oh, excellent use of the upbeat tether into fair. My God, that was beautiful. Oh boy. Well, this could be huge right here. We could be seeing a Waff situation here, or even an early stock right now, and then Ooh. a Waff last game. I respect the option, and it paid there it off. Is. There you it is. Your opponent is like, why are you, why are you driving off stage with the bike? No, it was just a setup. It was the mind games being played on Coggles and gets the stock, brings things to one stock apiece, and still has a fully charged Waff to work around. This is super good for uh, Coggles right now. This all he really needs is 20%, and he's honestly he's in that area where a Waff combo is going to take the uh, Justin Bailey off into the blast zone and gets to our first game three of the night. Yep, this is do or die right now for Kagos if they want to stay on the winner's side, who has no bike, no jump at this point, but still makes it back to stage safely. But these rapid jabs, you don't see it too often from Bailey, but when they, they hit, uh, Justin Bailey has made them count. I've been here sitting here betting with bated breath because every moment counts, but guess what? That down to into up air counts a little bit more. Wow. Many missed opportunities for an excellent waff combo. Down to down to uh down to into up air into up air into a waff would have been able to break Justin Byleth even a little bit. But unfortunately Coggle's playing a little bit too safe. Was we, was really looking for those true combos into waft. It happens. It happens to the best of us and great stuff to both those players nonetheless. Justin coming back from uh, you know, his fall semester back here in Jersey, just trying to once again showcase that they have not lost their touch here in Tri-State. Good stuff to him. He has a winner's side run to go through and may may go well for him. Coggles, however, has the loser side. I want to point out something that is not on the screen. We What's actually didn't... The upset of Yeast over Beast in the Battle of the Weast. 2-1 <laughs> yeah. in favor of Yeast. Yeast beat ye Oh, God, this is confusing. Yeast beat Beast. Yeah, Mr. Yeast Two beat Mr. One. Beast in the For battle. the Battle of the Weast. Battle of the Weast. <laughs> but alongside that upset, we oh, also have people like Apple Reviewer getting a win over Haven. We Ooh. also I also see a few other names as well. Hayes losing to Glutamate. Uh, yeah, SPT taking it over Lemon Tea. 
like I mentioned before, uh, Jucane over Reflection. That's Excellent. just on. It's so many. It's stacked. It's stacked. It's scary out here. You're Can going to see so many players. Yeah, right here you see it. It's scary territory. We got Gatsby over King. We have Gatsby Ranger up. We have Zero yeah, Pe Pe over Justin JPEG. Yeah, Zafiro. Vitz beating Vitz our hungry. Beating, yep, Vitz beating our hungry. Yeah. Absolutely. Some yeah. are. Some You're seeing a upsets. lot of early upsets right now happening, but that is just the name of the game when you have yep. all the top level talent coming out from every side. But with that being said, speaking of top level talent, Collision 2023 happening March 10th through the 12th. We already have names like MK Leo, Tweak, Spargo. Uh, Hungry Box for Mille, Zane, and a few others. We have Mi we have Mille and Ultimate Action happening here at Parsip Parsippany, New Jersey. Collision 2023. If you haven't done so yet, sign up. Now is the time to do so. And of course, if you want some.